I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up, guys? I wanted to welcome you to today's video and officially welcome you back to Fitness Fridays on the channel. I have been going back and forth about going back to doing fitness videos on this channel. It's just such a big part of our life. And so I wanted to incorporate Fitness Fridays back in, and it's something that I used to do years and years ago where I would do some type of fitness talk. Um, I would do a day, full day of eating. I would do a workout. So just some type of fitness health element on Friday. So it is Fitness Fridays officially. Today, I wanted to start with a very important video topic to myself. It's something that I get asked quite often about in, in the fitness realm. People ask how you stay motivated. How you stay motivated to keep pushing forward when times get tough on the days that you don't wanna do it, how do you stay motivated to keep going? This is a very, very important topic when it comes to long-term progress, long-term health, and just enjoying the journey in general. So I wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts. It might get a little heavy because I really do dig deep on these days that I don't wanna be here and I don't wanna be doing this and I don't wanna to get to the gym, I don't wanna eat healthy, I don't wanna focus on my own health because I have so many things going on in my life. As you guys know, it's not always natural. I'm not always motivated. And that's the, the first thing that I tell people is that I don't always stay motivated. It's not about motivation, it's about discipline. And it's about showing up every single day, whether you can put in 100% effort or 2% effort, something is better than nothing. And so I was just gonna go through a couple thoughts that I have when I don't want to do it, when I don't wanna continue forward. Like I said, it might get kind of heavy because I really do, I try and focus on the bigger picture and why I'm doing this in general. So one thing I think of on the days when I just feel like I'm dragging, when I just have no motivation, I don't want to get to the gym, I'm like, eh, whatever, screw it. I think about the fact that there is somebody out there with less time, less knowledge, less motivation, less practice, and they are getting after it. I like to utilize others for a source of inspiration for myself, and I follow a ton of people on social media that inspire me every single day. And these people range from pro bodybuilders to moms that have never worked out a day in their life but are getting something done. And so I think about those people that they're busy, they've got a million things going on, but they are showing up for themselves and for their families and for their loved ones every single day. So I always think about the fact that there is somebody out there that has less time, less resources, less motivation than I do, and they are getting after it. I also reflect on, and I know this is like deep and kind of cliche, but literally this is what I think of. I think about how every day is a gift. Every day. The fact that I am here on this earth as myself is a miracle. Our odds of being who we are and being born and being on this earth are just, to quote Michael Scott, insurmountable. <laughs> it really is a miracle to be on this earth. And, and for me to be able to have a career in fitness and to be able to reach out to people on social media and be doing what I do, and for me to sit there and, and kind of wallow in self-pity and, and want to give up, I feel like that's doing myself, it's doing other people, it's doing God an injustice because I'm not putting in my best to be the best for others because I can't, I can't be my best for my family, for Eva, if I'm not treating myself well. And so every moment, every day is a gift. And I try to focus on that when I'm really feeling down because it helps me to flip, basically flip the script. And I realize like, I get to work out today. I get to focus on fueling my body well with, with foods that make me feel good. I get to teach Eva what it's like to take advantage of every single day and appreciate every moment that we're given. I think about the girl that I was 20 years ago. I think about sitting in front of the mirror, looking at myself and crying because I didn't look like the other girls. 
because I wasn't comfortable in who I was. I wasn't comfortable in my body. And I thought that I had to fit into a certain picture, into a certain size, into a certain weight. Because I thought that I had to do that to be happy. It wasn't about health for me 20 years ago. It was about what I looked like and how other people saw me. Because that's that's what I surrounded myself with. It, the pressure of being a certain size and looking a certain way as a young girl. It was tough. And so I think about the girl that I was 20 years ago, even before then, and how I want to make her proud. And how I, if I could have a conversation with her today, how I would teach her that she is beautiful. That she is worthy of love and health. And that she doesn't need to fit into society's view of beauty and, and a certain size and a certain weight. And I wish so badly that I could go back and give her a hug and show her that in a few years she would realize what being healthy means and it starts from in here, it starts from the inside. And I do this every day, every week because I want to make her proud. And I want to show myself and I want to show other people that it's not about weight, it's not about the size, it's about how you feel. And it's about treating your body well, mentally and physically. I think about people that wake up every day and wish for what I have. People that would give anything to be able to get up and go to the gym. To be able to have an abundance of foods to choose from to fuel their body well. People that pray for a family and people that pray for what I take for granted every day. And I think about that. And I think about how somewhere out there, somebody is longing for what I have. And for me to not appreciate that and take advantage of it every single day, it's selfish. So I try and focus on doing others proud because I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed with the life that I have and the husband and the family and, and Eva. And I just, I don't want to waste any second taking that for granted. And so there are people out there that aren't as fortunate as we are. And for me to sit and mope around and try to wait for, you know, motivation to happen, to go out and, and go after my goals and try to help others. I just, I just don't see the point. I think about my parents. I am the youngest of four children and my parents have worked countless hours to provide a good life for us. And they taught us to be confident in who we are. Despite the pressures that I felt from society, my parents taught us to work hard and they showed us. They led by example because they worked their asses off every single day to provide a good life for us and even though we, they were stressed and they were tired after long days at work they would come home and they would love on us and play with us and I think about making them proud every single day I think about my own strength I think about last year in 2019 when I was going through labor with Eva 33 hours y'all 33 hours. I use that as my inspiration. I think about how there were so many moments when I said, I can't do this. I looked at Matt and I said, I can't do this. At my mom, I can't do this. At my midwife, I can't do this. And they said, you're doing it. You are doing it right now. And whenever I think of moments when I think I can't do this, I can't do another day of healthy food. I can't do another day of going into the gym. I don't want to do this anymore. I think back to that day, those days, and I did it. I'm doing it. You're doing this. If you're watching this video. You're doing something. You're doing it. And so I think back to those moments when I felt like I could not do it. And now the best thing in the world happened to us because of the toughest moments of my life. This is nothing. A fitness journey, this is nothing compared to what we've already been through. I can do this. 
I've done it. I've done way harder things before. I can do this. I think about the days three and four months postpartum when I was struggling with postpartum depression. I don't, I talk about this every now and then. I don't talk about it a lot because it was such a hard time for me having that inner conflict of being completely overjoyed with the new baby and, and this new life that you have brought into this world and how they're here and it's a miracle. And then you feel so ungrateful because you just cannot feel like yourself. And something is off and something is wrong. And for some reason there is a cloud in front of you at all times that makes you feel like you can't truly appreciate what's in front of you. And I think about those days and going through that darkness and how taking it one step at a time helped to pull me out. And I know that these steps might seem insignificant right now, one day here, one day there. Like what does it matter in the bigger picture? But I think about those small steps and it was literally something as simple as brushing my teeth, taking 10 minutes to move, taking 10 minutes to sit and be alone and just breathe those little moments added up. And I know in the bigger picture, those little moments, these days here and there, these little choices that we make every single day make such a difference in the grand scheme of things. And I think back to getting through that period of my life and how I appreciate everything so much more now. And I know that those moments were so difficult. And going back to the labor too, everything was, it's the most hard, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But I appreciate every single moment so much more now because I went through those lows and I went through that darkness. And so I think back to myself again for inspiration because I got through that. And I know that there are other people out there getting through that. And one, I want to help people and to show them that we are not alone in our struggles and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But I also want to use that to motivate me to keep moving forward on the tough days. So I don't always stay motivated, but I try my hardest to make others in my life proud by the choices that I make every day. And that includes myself. I want to be able to look back 10 years from now and be proud of the steps that I took every single day. And even though it's not always easy, and even though we don't always want to be doing things that better us, we know in the long run, we want to be proud of ourselves and we wanna make our loved ones proud and we wanna show them a good example. I want to show Eva what it looks like to take care of her body and be confident with who she is. And I, the best way to do that is to show her as she grows up. And so if I set the foundation solid now, there will be no question as she grows up as to who she is and how strong she is and what she is capable of. And I want to show her that from day one. I would love to hear from you guys your thoughts on how you stay motivated on the tough days. And this doesn't have to be in, re in regards to your fitness journey. If you're not on a fitness journey, reach out. I would love to help you guys, if anything, just talk with you and offer encouragement. But I wanna hear how you guys stay motivated. If it's working, forward in your business, in your life, in your marriage, in your fitness journey. I want to hear it in the comments below. I love talking to you guys every single week. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it brought some, some positive inspiration to your day. If it did, make sure and hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and that's going to be it for today. So if you guys have another topic you want to hear me talk on, let me know in the comments. Until then, have fun out there and we will see you in the next video.